He was a giant of Minnesota politics, a former Minnesota Attorney General, a U.S. Senator, a Vice President, and who many describe as a humble servant. Local lawmakers are sharing personal stories about Walter Fritz Mondale. Ryan Winkler was Mondale's driver when Mondale stepped in to run for U.S. Senate following the tragic plane crash of Paul Wellstone in 2002. One of the most touching moments in politics I have experienced is his concession speech to Norm Coleman, in which he thanked the voters of Minnesotans for always being good to him. The Minnesota House held a moment of silence on Monday to mark Mondale's passing. Local residents have stories, too, remembering Walter Mondale. And then after Wellstone, Senator Wellstone died in 2002, you know, he stepped forward and said, well, I'll run for, in, in just those sh short few days, what, 10 days? He said, I will run. Of course, he didn't win, but he, he didn't have to, but he did. So he always did things that he didn't have to do, but he did because he had such a heart for the country. Brooklyn Center resident Diane Santa shared her Mondale campaign buttons and memories with us. She traveled to the 1984 convention with several other North Metro residents when Mondale ran against President Ronald Reagan. She got to show off her buttons to Mondale in a 2012 event at the Minnesota History Center. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.